royal thugs, Harry exposes the palace's dirty deeds that make the feud grow bigger. Hello friends and welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. Prince Harry has discussed how after giving a shock interview with Oprah Winfrey, he received criticism from his former nanny Tiggy and a friend of King Charles. In his biography, Prince Harry describes how Emily van Kutsum, a close friend of King Charles and one of her four sons, were perplexed by his conduct after the interview was aired. Additionally, his childhood nanny, Tiggy Leg Burke, who raised Harry and William from 1993 to 1999 after their parents' divorce, was also amongst those who questioned why he had conducted the interview. The Duke penned and said, one of Hugh and Emily's sons, Emily herself and even Tiggy, had reprimanded me for Oprah, among other valued and close friends. How were these items revealed by you and your family? I explained to them that I did not understand how chatting with Oprah was any different from what my family and their employees had been doing for years, briefing the press covertly and planting stories. So no different than other royals cooperating with biographies? Is that the excuse he uses to do this? Family drama is never wise to air, and to do it is bad and disgraceful. Harry needs to see what he has done from the outside, looking in, but he will not. All he cares about is whining about how hard his life has been, and that no one loves him, just like his wife does. Unfortunately for Harry, this is a hard road to go down, and he may never, ever come back. In order to further support his actions, the prince asserted that his father had contributed to Jonathan Dimbley's 1994 biography of the monarch, explaining that he and Meghan had just been upfront about wanting to provide their version of events. Prince Harry is the godfather of Major Nicholas van Kutzum's daughter, Florence, and she was one of Meghan Markle's bridesmaids. Tiggy loved those boys as if they were her own. She loved them so much and they in turn adored her. It's well known that it caused drama with Diana. If Tiggy reprimanded him over his recent actions, it is because she knows and loves him. Can she set him down a terrible path from which there is no going back? Harry has sold his soul, along with his family, his country and his entire life simply for money. And he may very well make quite a lot of it. Harry has revealed private conversations with his family, his friends and his ex-girlfriends. It is shocking that he feels no shame or remorse for doing this. Yet he feels much aggrieved by what he believes are leaks by the palace about him. He's got no one left except for Meghan as he has successfully alienated himself from everybody. Even the public has turned on him but he still hasn't figured out why. Harry and Meghan have set themselves up as victims, knowing that whatever the palace does or doesn't, say or do, they can paint themselves as the ones who are suffering. Harry has played a blinder, really. He either forces his father to spout ties or forces his father to bring them closer on their terms. One spectator commented and said, I don't think he realises the difference between other royals' interviews and his. He literally complains about every slight he has ever received in his entire life and turns it into yet another reason to hate his brother and father. I think that he is jealous of William since he realised William would be king and he would not. We all eventually have to accept our lot in life and cannot all be top dog, firstborn or have access to luxury, but we can still contribute to society in a positive way, reap rewards and find contentment and happiness. Harry and Meghan are sadly poor role models and could have contributed so much, but sadly their gripping appears to be backfiring. The man is utterly lacking in any sense of perspective or self-awareness. He clearly has no idea how petty all his little moans read together appear. 
he's basically unloaded every perceived slight and offence ever done to him in an attempt to make his own relatives look bad and he and his wife's actions to look justified. It is pathetic and embarrassing. The royal family are meant to be leaders of this country, even if it is more token than real nowadays. Harry needs his titles taken away to show him that he is in the wrong, even if it just fuels another gripe. All the people who care about him tell him the truth, but he cuts them out because he does not want to hear anything that does not align with him and what Meghan tells him. One day he will no longer be with her, and he'll need his family and his friends. He will then find out that all those who encouraged him to betray his family were not his friends at all. Experts say Harry's strategy is to attack locally. He doesn't stop at attacking the king, but also attacks those around him, including unrelated people like Nanny Tiggy. Spare thinks he'll get his revenge and make a pile of money for doing it, but then what? The things that Harry does are only a temporary fix for what bothers him. He'll still need more attention and revenge and money. We'll see how he accomplishes it. I will never buy what he's selling as I do not want to be part of this in any way, ever. A psychiatrist analysing Harry's brain said, Things happen for a reason and that's often revealed later in our day-to-day -day lives. There was a build-up to their leaving that is slowly coming out in interviews and in books. It took all this for him to tell his story. Clearly he's angry and disappointed with his family and he wants to destroy the firm. The higher path would have been to escape and never look back. Get a fresh start over here the way so many immigrants have done and succeeded. That's the best revenge he could have had. One spectator commented and said, Harry had everyone in his corner. Everyone protected and pampered him. If anyone dares to disagree with his view, he blames, names and shames them. People with his best interests at heart clearly tried to understand what he was doing. The paid, shallow sycophants he now surrounds himself with only see him as a means to an end, a clown of a prince, a jester. I wonder if Harry thinks above a very basic level. Has he not realised that if the monarchy falls, he also falls? I doubt it. He would lose his title, his status, and what little he has, and more importantly, his handouts too. No more money, Harry. Just think about that. Harry seems to be mentally operating at the level of a petulant child or a moron, he takes cheap shots at those who help fund his very privileged lifestyle. This is never a wise strategy. He seems to think that he will be forgiven and nothing will change. Perhaps he has never really had to face the consequences of his behaviour before. But this time, Harry, you are in for a shock. Another person warned and said, Harry, you prove yourself ignorant every time you mention your family, leaking and planting stories, and how it needed to have come to this. Listen, Harry, you are planting stories and leaking information yourself through this book and in your very dull interviews. You are as culpable as you say they are. Have you never heard that two wrongs do not make a right? What do you think about Harry's fatal accusations against all the people in the royal palace, especially those who are credited with raising him? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. We hope you have found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it. Now thank you for watching this newsletter. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.